Hey everybody, welcome back to With The Face. So glad you're here, and uh, it is a special day. We have something from Moon Soaps, and uh, if you didn't know them, I did a review on, I think, their first um, shaving soap they released a while back, and uh, it was great soap then. And uh, I'm sure that what we have here in front of us is a great soap now. Um, the, the combination of uh, Melody and Zachary are really uh, incredible. Zachary is a graphic artist. Um, he is uh, a fantastic graphic artist. Uh, his labels are just uh, stunning. And it shows. And let me just show you what he has created for this one. This one is called Union. And uh, let me tell you, I wish I could do that. I wish I had his ability. He is uh, amazing. So um, that's what we're going to be using today. Let me just open it up a little. Wow. Wow. This is a great scent. I'll put the notes down in there. Um, and also the shaving soap. We also have um, the post shave balm, which we're going to uh, put on as well. Uh, this. Um, is a tallow based formula it's extra slick and uh, we'll we'll judge that and we're going to be putting it in a bowl making a lather bring it to the face doing the shave and talk about the results so uh, stay tuned don't go away all right so let me tell you what I'm going to be using for the shave today uh, the wet the face uh, brush the synthetic one that's what I'm going to be using I'll be using my Occam's razor, and if anybody hasn't seen that, this is what it looks like. And uh, we're going to be using the uh, wet the face uh, shaving bowl to do the lathering. So uh, let's get started. Okay, as you can see, the bowl is empty, right? And uh, here is the soap in question. And I'm just going to take a quick sniff of this. Oh man, that is so good. I'll put the notes down here so you could see them. Um, this is not a hard soap. If you if you press hard enough, you can then, then take the soap and uh, with a probably a cosmetic spoon, you can just uh, put it in the shaving bowl, which I'm going to absolutely do. Again, here is the brush that we're going to be using, and uh, here is the razor that we are going to use. This is an Occam's razor, and our brush is the uh, synthetic knot. Uh, wet the face brush. So, um, let's put the soap in the bowl and get on with the shave. Okay, so as you can see, the soap is in the bowl, and I couldn't find my cosmetic spoon because <laughs> they're really small and they drop all the time. And uh, I didn't want to, you know, go to the bag of where I have them in another room and uh, try to find it. So I just took my finger and just brushed it around there. You could do it either way. You don't need a cosmetic spoon. This just goes to show you. Um, so with that, there it is. Here's the brush. We're gonna we're gonna make a little warm water on there, and I'm going to uh, empty the contents of the brush into the bowl. And I'm just gonna dry my hands a little bit, and uh, let's start the lathering. So here we go. So right away we're making suds, and um, I doubt we'll need any more water. It was the perfect amount, I think. And uh, we are um, right now the scent is coming out. My hands, the reason why I, I swap my hands all the time 
is because <laughs> they get tired. They get tired, and I'm not really doing this for a long time. It's just that I, I used to be able to agitate for a longer period of time without switching my hands. But as I'm aging, uh, it's happening that I can't, so. And as you can see, we're getting an excellent lather. I mean, take a look at this. It's nuts. I did not have a lot of soap. Well, I consider not a lot of soap in the bowl. Some would say is excessive, but. I mean, oh my God, oh, the. <laughs> okay, look at this creamy lather. Holy shit. So, let's bring this to the face and do the, do the shave. Okay, so uh, we're back here, uh, ready to go, and uh, just to show you, look at that brush with the lather on it. So, uh, just amazing, and uh, let, me, uh, let me tell you that I had about uh, six to seven days growth, so let me wet the face. Alrighty. <laughs> so, you know where this is going, right? You know it's not going to go all on the face, right? So, uh, let's apply this to the face and see how much we can avoid on the shirt. So, here we go. There's so much on the brush that I just, <laughs> just had to take some off. Can you believe it? It's going on really nice. The scent is out there. Alrighty, there you go. Probably uh, three or four more passes with that brush, no problem at all. And uh, let me just dry my hands and uh, wet the razor down a little bit. I do feel menthol. I'm going to check, I don't know, is there menthol in here? Do, 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 do. Yep, <laughs> I, I can tell. <laughs> okay, um, and I love it. I love the feeling. That's just me. So, um, we have uh, the, uh, the Occam's razor, which I'm going to be using right now. I'm going to wet it and then start the shave. So here we go. Now, it's not an overbearing amount of uh, menthol. It's just enough to, to tell you that it's there. Now, I'll tell you a story. When I was visiting my wife a couple days ago, there was someone in the next um, bed area that um, they brought in they brought in Burger King and everybody pretty much knows who Burger King is. I have not been to a Burger King in 20 years. I don't normally, even though I'm overweight, I don't normally eat fast food at all. 
But when I was looking at how they were enjoying that, I said to myself, I think the next time, you know, I'm gonna give it a try, you know? So, a couple of days went by, and I got my wife and I a Whopper. And a couple other things with it, you know? The normal things that you get when you're going to a fast food, you know, fries, things like that. So, when I was uh, eating that, it tasted really great. And then after we were done, uh, I went home. And about an hour or two later, I didn't feel so good. And then, uh, In the night, I woke up and I got really, really sick. And man, I was so sick that I'll, I'll just put it this way. It was all, it was a disaster. I'll just put it that way. It was a disaster. Uh, it's not something I want to go through again. And it was definitely the food. Maybe I'm just not used to eating, you know, that stuff, and that's why it affected me. But if it if it affects you like that, I think you should stop eating it, you know. So that's what I'm. I'm never gonna go back again. I think one time in 20 years is enough. And there we go. Wow. Boy, that was great. That little menthol helped for the enjoyable shave. I, I just love menthol and uh, I got really close. Uh, no irritation whatsoever. Uh, I was allowed to go over certain areas again and again without irritation. Poche feel is very nice. Um, just an all-in-all great shave, uh, wonderful towel, ta tallow formula, just um, really, really great. Um, the scent is fantastic. Um, and now, let's try the aftershave bomb. And I have it here, and it is a pump. So uh, let's uh, see if I can get that going. And that's about enough. That's what I'm going to do. And let's work it into the hands first, and then work it into. Mmm. Very nice. Now, I'm going to take this and take the excess off of my hands and work the rest into the face. So here we go. Very nice. And this is also very slick. Very slick. I can feel it. It has menthol in it as well. 
and that's a nice end to the shave for me. Um, just an overall great performing soap and balm and a great experience. I had a wonderful shave and I hope you have a great shave and I'll see you next week. And Melanie and Zachary, thank you for thinking of me and have a great weekend. See you later.